Hello everyone, welcome to a new lecture. In this video, we are going to explore volcanic eruptions. So, how many types of volcanic eruptions are there? Well, basically, there are two types. There are quiescent and there are explosive eruptions. We have eruptions where it's explosive, where the magma flies into the air, we have gases going upward, we have pyroclastic material going in all directions. And on the other hand, we have a more quiet, calm eruption, which is called quiescent, meaning calm, meaning not explosive. So we have these two kinds of eruptions. So let's look at each of them in more detail. The first one, quiescent eruption, is an eruption involving very fluid basaltic lava and usually can be detected since the summit of the volcano rises months or even years before erupting. So, as you can see in the picture, quiescent eruption is just an eruption where the magma comes out peacefully without flying into the air. Usually, this kind of eruption can be detected months or even years before erupting. But, on the other hand, explosive eruptions has high gas content and high viscosity magmas ejecting materials upward. As you can see in this picture, explosive eruptions, the magma flies into the air due to high viscosity and high gas content. Usually, since it's very viscous, bubbles of gas accumulate and when they come upward, the pressure decreases and the bubbles burst. This is the reason the magma is explosive or the eruption is explosive because the gases that are in the magma accumulate and when the pressure decreases, they explode and they push the magma out creating an explosive eruption. But in a quiescent eruption, the reason you don't have explosive flying out magmas is that you don't have a lot of gases to accumulate in the magma before creating bubbles and bursting, making the magma fly upward. Since your magma is not very viscous, it will allow the gases to escape into the air without creating, without actually accumulating and creating bubbles and then bursting. But in an explosive eruption, since you have very viscous material, it will resist letting out gases into air and this makes the gases to accumulate, creating bubbles and bursting when the pressure decreases. So this is the difference between the two types of eruption, quiescent eruption and explosive eruptions. So what determines volcanic eruptions or what are the factors that affect whether we have a quiescent eruption or an explosive eruption? Well, we have a couple of factors and they are temperature, composition and the amount of dissolved gases in the magma. So the rule is the more viscous, the more eruptive. The more your magma is viscous, the more eruptive it will be. So let's look at how temperature, composition, and the amount of dissolved gases affect viscosity and in turn affect eruptiveness. So the way temperature affects viscosity is very, very intuitive. It is just like having either hot or cold syrup. Having cold syrup is very hard to pour because cold syrup is very viscous and it cannot flow very well. But hot syrup is very fluid-like and it will flow easily because it has less viscosity than cold syrup, meaning it has more tendency to flow. In the same principle, rocks or magma, the hotter the magma, the less viscous it is, and the less viscous it is, the less eruptive. If the magma contains a lot of heat or the magma is hot, then it is less viscous, therefore it will be less eruptive. But if the magma does not contain a lot of heat, then it is more viscous and in turn it is more eruptive. So this is how temperature works on viscosity and in turn works on eruptiveness. The hotter it is, the less viscous and the less eruptive. The way composition works on viscosity is basaltic mafic magmas contain about 50% silica and the acidic intermediate magmas contain about 60% silica and rhyolitic felsic magmas contain more than 70% silica. And the way that silica affects eruption or the way it can affect whether it will create an explosive eruption or a more quiet, calm eruption is this way. 
The more silica in magma, the greater its viscosity, and the greater viscosity, the more eruptive. So rhyolitic magmas, since they contain 70% silica, they are more viscous, therefore they are more eruptive than basaltic magmas, since they contain 50% silica and they are less viscous. So more silica, more viscous, more eruptive. Less silica, less viscous, less eruptive. The final factor that affects eruptiveness is dissolved gases. Mainly, dissolved water increases fluidity because it reduces formation of long silica chains by breaking silicon oxygen bonds. Therefore, loss of gases creates more viscous lava, and the more viscous, the more, you know, the more eruptive. So, more water or gases, less viscous, less eruptive. Less water, more viscous, more eruptive. And this is how gases affect eruptive properties of a volcano. And with this, we come to the end of our lecture. So, to recap the entire lecture, 